Hi there again everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and uh, this is going to be another Bob's Tips video. I want to run through a few different options that you have to create linkages in your boat. There's uh, a few different methods and a few different pieces of hardware that you can use. I want to show just a few of them here and you can pick and choose which one you think will work best for your applications. Let's take a look. So there are a few kind of traditional ways that you can go about this. The first one is sort of the, the tried and true linkage that you'll see a lot on uh, RC airplanes. Uh, and with this, basically, you've got a, a retaining clip that goes through uh, you know, a hole in a linkage like that. Um, use these a lot when you want a very positive linkage that'll never come undone for you. These are off the shelf, um, you know, fairly easy to use. Good travel, um, you know, in a horizontal plane, but none in the vertical plane. So that's certainly one option for you. Another one is another kind of off the shelf solution and this is a nylon ball and socket setup. Um, I like this one because you've got a lot of movement here if you can see that. So if you, your linkage will actually not be traveling in a perfect line with your servo output, this is not a bad option at all either. Um, only downside to that is connecting and disconnecting this ball and socket is a little bit of a pain. Um, typically you need a screwdriver to take it apart uh, and it goes to the same for that one. Now here's a real simple solution. You just use a wheel collar and you run two pieces of linkage that you're trying to connect together and, uh, and bolt it in place. You can use a single connector or dual if you want to make sure that you maintain alignment. Uh, super simple. Um, it's a little bit more tricky to get set up because you've got to uh, slip obviously the linkage all the way through into the, uh, the collar there, but uh, certainly the cheapest option. The last one is the solution that David Merriman came up with. Uh, and I really like that. This is a new version of it that we're selling at the Nautilus Dry Docks. These are uh, plastic parts and they've got magnets embedded in them. We've got two sizes. Uh, one is for the smaller models and they use like a 1 8 inch rare earth magnet. Um, these are actually really, really good for smaller models uh, that aren't going to have a lot of force. You're going to want to make sure that all your linkages are very, very free. Uh, operating. Um, installation and removal of the cylinder is a snap. It's absolutely gorgeous. Something that we've uh, done is come up with a different size. This is a larger size with much stronger rare earth magnets. Um, these are, are very positive uh, actuating. Um, so again, easy installation. And kind of the neat thing about these these big ones, um, when they snap together, it's a very locked in and linear uh, connection. These smaller ones actually have some play. So if again, if your linkages go through a, a little bit different angle, um, you can certainly do it that way. Or the other thing that you can do is mix and match so that you can use a big one uh, and a little one if you want that and a stronger connection. So there you go. There's a few different options to set up some linkages on your boat. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more videos and we will talk to you again soon.